Hi, my name is Lee. Uh, it's been a while since I last recorded a tutorial. I was not for the uh, so today. What I was thinking about it was just recording myself as a model. So I have re I've been having these ideas of modeling stuff quick and easy uh, using some different service modeling. So, what I'm going to do today, I think I'll just start in with uh, uh, a simple model. Uh, uh, we're going to start with a football, a soccer, a soccer ball, I guess. So, uh, what we we'll need first is this platonic. Uh, and the platonic, I think we have, uh, we have this, uh, I think we have this Paki, it's Paki again. Yeah, this one, this shape gives us uh, the general clue, uh, overview of the football, how it looks like. So, we need to make it editable and go to edge mode. We need to remove these edges because we don't need them. So, we do a start just like that. Uh, I wish there was an easier way of selecting these, but there isn't. Okay, let me just do one like that. Uh, okay. Uh, I think I'm almost done. So since I've selected the, all of them, it just give you a difference of what this tool does. But if I dissolve this, it will de delete all the points that are associated with the edges. So it will look different. Oh, I guess I just added. Mm -hmm. Funny. Anyway, you've dissolved those edges. So what we need to do now is to select all, and we just need to subdivide it without any without any smooth subdivisions. Just say press OK. So right now we have quads instead of this angle that we had at first. So what we want to do first. Right now, we need to select all uh, just these edges. But instead of just selecting these manuals, we could spend the whole day. The easiest way to do this is to select using the phone by selection. But I know it's selecting every edge that it is, but we don't have a phone tag. Uh, so we need to add that phone tag to this. So I'm going to select the phone tag. You know, that phone tag we need to put in a very small angle like 20. Right now, it selects everything, so we just select that two and then select all. So, already we have what we need. We need to, to bevel this using a solid angle. What a solid chamfer does is it gives it doesn't chamfer this at an angle, it just gives you. Control cards like say M, uh, we do MS that's for bevel <coughs> and do a solid chamfer. And if we now drag like so, we have these control edges, which is what we really need for now. Uh, what we also need is to re grab that same phone back selection, then select all again, then press V. And then we set selection, then we'll call this borders, like so, uh, which is what we need. Now we need to smoothen this. Select all, right click, subdivide, then we subdivide it once with a small one. Okay, now I think we have this. This looks sweet. Right now we have this, but it doesn't look like a ball. We want, we want it to look like a ball, so we need to verify this. So, if we hold in shift and press verify, but it is enlarged our ball, we need to turn it to 100 and then we make it 100% strength, like so. And then we need to right click and say current set to object. Uh, so, we current state to object, then we we'll hide. Our original platonic, then we call this football. Ah, we just see soccer ball. Okay, then we go into our edge mode. We see this selected. 
what we could do again put in our subdivision surface uh, holding out and put in our subdivision surface then we just want to subdivide this once uh, once then we select this then we press um, scale then we just subdivide this go in a little bit like so this is our ball and it looks sweet of course maybe if you want to add in more details in between this thing we'll go in and select deselect our subdivision surface and then give this a little bit of some weight then we'll go M S then we we'll chamfer this towards the undo and then we we'll just chamfer it a bit like so then give it a one division then subdivide right now it looks more like a bow mm -hmm. then I'll call this so -ka. uh so -ka. boo sds we are done 